Princess Diana's terrifying confrontation with Camilla over the Prince Charles affair, revealed. When Princess Diana first found out about Prince Charles' affair with his longtime love interest Camilla Parker Bowles, she was horrified. But Diana was not about to let Camilla get away with it. Here's everything you need to know about the night Diana confronted her husband's mistress. The confrontation took place at a birthday party. Camilla's sister was celebrating her 40th birthday party, thrown by Lady Annabelle Goldsmith in 1989. Although Diana had not received an invite, she decided she would show up unannounced to speak with Camilla. I decided I'm not going to kiss Camilla hello anymore. I was going to shake hands with her instead, Diana revealed in a series of tapes later reported by Daily Mail. It was her big step in doing something about the affair. Diana pulled Camilla away from a conversation with Prince Charles. Diana's tapes revealed that she knew Charles did not want her to come that night. She had been upstairs alone when she realized Camilla and Charles were not around. She later found them downstairs having a conversation with another man. The tapes revealed. Diana pulled Camilla away from Charles and asked to speak to her. She looked really uncomfortable and put her head down, Diana said. Diana remained deathly calm during the confrontation. Diana admitted to being terrified about confronting Camilla. However, she noted that she put on a display of remaining deathly calm just before and during the confrontation. Even when she pulled Camilla away from Charles, she did so with poise. The voice inside me had said, just go for it, she said. Don't treat me like an idiot. The confrontation started out with Diana telling Camilla she knew what was going on. But Camilla didn't immediately admit anything. At first, she said she had no idea what Diana was talking about. Diana fired back. The two went back and forth. And finally Diana said, I'm sorry I'm in the way. It must be hell for both of you, but I do know what is going on. Don't treat me like an idiot, Daily Mail reported. Camilla's reply was very interesting. In her tapes, Diana recalled how interesting Camilla's response was. At first, Camilla denied any involvement, but then she got defensive. She said Diana never let Charles see the children. She then told Diana that she had all the men in the world she could ever want and she had two beautiful children. Camilla asked Diana, what more could you want? Diana swiftly replied, I want my husband. The aftermath brought Diana to tears. Diana admitted to crying like she had never cried before. She blamed it on years worth of pent up anger. Diana's tapes revealed that she did not sleep that night, as she was crying too much. However, when she woke up the next day, she admitted to feeling a tremendous shift as if a huge weight had been lifted. A few days later, she told Charles what she had said to Camilla, but he didn't believe her. It led her to affairs of her own. Diana began having affairs out of frustration over her marriage. Most notably, she paired up with James Hewlett, the family's riding instructor. To this day, some people think Prince Harry is the son of James Hewitt and not Charles. Charles reportedly found out about the affair but did not concern himself with it. Princess Diana was linked to multiple men during her marriage. She attempted suicide when she learned of the affair. Diana attempted suicide multiple times in her life. The first was up at Balmoral, when she tried to cut her wrists to put herself out of the misery that was her marriage to Charles. Another attempt happened when she was pregnant with Prince William. Diana threw herself and her unborn baby down the stairs. She revealed in tapes that it was to get Charles' attention so he would notice how much she was struggling. Charles led Diana to develop bulimia while engaged. A comment Charles made to Diana while the couple was engaged set something off in her, according to released tapes. When Charles grabbed Diana's waist and made a comment about her weight, it led Diana to bulimia. She claimed it felt like she was releasing her stress. She went from a 29-inch waist all the way down to 23.5 inches before her wedding day. Diana's mental state had an effect on the couple's marriage. Among other things like Charles' affair and the couple's false love, Diana's mental and emotional instability also took a toll on the couple's marriage. Diana was prescribed Valium for her condition but refused to take it. She was paranoid that the royal family was trying to sedate her. She constantly cried, and although she eventually agreed to see a therapist, she only had eight sessions, which did not help her overcome her paranoia and depression. There was a big sign right from the beginning. It could be the most famous line Charles ever said. When the two announced their engagement in 1981, a reporter asked if they were in love. Of course, Diana said, yet Charles replied with a deceiving, 
whatever in love means. At the time, it wasn't seen as too much of a red flag. However, as years went on and the recording was rediscovered, it quickly made sense that it was a telltale sign the two were not happily engaged. Prince Charles gave Camilla a bracelet just before his wedding to Diana. Charles and Camilla had nicknames for one another, Fred and Gladys. A couple of weeks before his wedding to Diana, Charles gifted Camilla a bracelet with a G and F inscribed on it, and Diana was aware, which made her apprehensive to follow through with the royal wedding. Diana told her sisters she did not want to go through with the wedding. Before the wedding, Diana confided in her sisters over her second thoughts about the marriage especially after she found out about the bracelet. Her sisters encouraged her to go through with the wedding, and at this point she had no choice. Diana recalled them saying it was too late to chicken out. Problems unfolded on their honeymoon. Diana wrote letters about her honeymoon to her secretary in confidence, and their recent release shows that problems were present as early as the honeymoon. Diana wrote, The honeymoon was a perfect opportunity to catch up on sleep. Reports have also said that Diana was prescribed Valium while the two honeymooned in Balmoral, Scotland. 